Hey, what is going on YouTube? So yesterday we opened a box of half dollars and uh, we ended up finding some silver in there. We found some 90% and some 40%. And uh, I actually had a 1969 that fooled me when I was looking at it. I thought it was going to be 90% uh, silver. Well, that posed the question, has there ever been a transitional error uh, where the 90% planchets have gotten into the 1965 to 1970 planchets. So I thought I'd check that out. Well, I've done a little research on the web, and it, lots and lots of rumors uh, where the, they're, they're saying that they're finding 1965 Kennedy halves minted on the 90% silver planchet. So far, none of them have been graded or authenticated, but I was wondering, uh, you know, how would you be able to tell the difference between a 90% planchet and a 40% planchet? Well, the main way you would be able to tell would be by weight. So you would have to get a gram scale. Uh, the standard composition for half dollars from 1965 through 1970 was clad silver, and they weigh 11.5 grams. And so they have like the outer layers of silver uh, bonded to the copper inner core. And the 1964 Kennedy half dollars with the, you know, the 90% silver, they're going to weigh 12.5 grams. So that would be the main way you would be able to tell them apart. You're going to have to weigh them. Now I'm sure you're probably wondering what would the value be on a transitional error like that? Well, if it's anything like the 1943 uh, copper penny, guys, we're talking thousands of dollars. And so far, so far, none of the 1965s have ever been authenticated. So if you find the very first one, I'm sure it would be worth quite a bit of money. It's definitely something you need to think about, guys. Pull that gram scale out. Start weighing those 40% silver halves and uh, see if you can find one that weighs 12.5. Maybe you could be the very first person to find a 1965 90% half dollar. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give me a like, subscribe, share, post a comment down below. We'll see you next time, and as always, happy hunting.